You should start getting more exercise. You could join a gym. You would work out more if you just knew what to do. All of those would-haves, should-haves, could-haves are probably the same story you've been telling yourself for years. And they all end the same way, with you actually doing nothing, or at best, not enough to get to where you want to go. This week, we hope to write a new ending to that story with our guest. He is the creator of the best-selling fitness series, P90X, and more recently, The Power of Four. Tony Horton joins us to help you and I get off our butts and actually work toward our fitness goals. This is The Fit Mess, conversations with world-class experts in the fields of mental, physical, and emotional health. In this episode... Stop doing the same things over and over again, expecting a different result. Thank you, Albert Einstein. It's true. <laughs> right. And people let change is hard. Like, you know, it's hard. Well, I'm all, I got a job, and I got kids, and I got stressed. I have traffic, and I have bills, and I have, a, I have a pandemic, and now you want me to work out five to seven days a week and eat vegetables? Are you out of your mind? Well, then stay miserable, my friend. Now here are your hosts, Zach and Jeremy. Welcome to The Fit Mess, brought to you by Athletic Greens. Thanks for listening while you're doing whatever it is that you're doing right now. I'm Zach. He's Jeremy. We've been through all kinds of struggles and ended up stronger because of them, and we want to help you do the same. If you're sick of your own shit and you're ready to make a change, you're in the right place. It is amazing how, when properly motivated, we can suddenly find the will and a way to take action on the things we say we want to do. This episode is a shining example of that. Zach, for months... You have told me to go to the gym. I've had a hundred reasons not to go. I tried going. I hated it. And I quit. But when I knew that we were going to be talking to the world-famous creator of P90X, I had a reason to try again. So now, well over a month later, I haven't missed a workout. I feel great. And I'm creating my own motivation to keep going. And that is spilling over to other areas of my life. I really, really want to say I told you so. And I really, really want to rub it in your face. You really, really should. I have. I really <laughs> want to, but instead, I'm going to say congratulations. That's amazing. Ah, uh, way to take the that high works. road. Come on, I, I served you up a softball. You could have just completely smacked me down for that. I could have, but you know what? We're all about motivating people, not bringing them down. That's true. That's true. I've got to say, I think so much of it, and we'll get into this in in the interview in just a little bit, but. So much of it is just having a plan because when I go into the gym now, and I know you talk about this with your CrossFit experience, going in and not having to think about it, right? Just doing what you're told makes it so much easier. I've been doing the P90X3 for about five or six weeks now. And just the fact that I can just mindlessly go in and go, yes, Tony, tell me what to do. How high should I jump? It just, it just fixed it. Because the one day that I went in, I was like, I don't know what to do. I read uh, that you lift some heavy stuff and then you kind of run around and junk. And I just was like, this this sucks. This isn't fun. This is boring. It's hard. I, I don't even know that this is going to work. Like I had no direction and, and no plan. But having that plan and having that direction just makes all the difference in the world. And that's why I always say, get a coach, whether it's on demand through like Beachbody On Demand or a, an in-person coach. That's how I've been successful. If I have to put together the plan myself, I'm not a fitness expert. I don't know how to do these things correctly without hurting myself. God knows I was corrected at the gym this morning for something Mm -hmm. and yesterday and the day before and the day before that. So, I mean, it is really important to have somebody there just telling you what you need to do Mm -hmm. because our own motivation, like we have just enough to get us to the gym. Yep. Then you add on like planning what it is and planning the whole week and the whole month and what you're going to do. Forget it. No one's going to do that. Especially not having the knowledge of what's worth my effort, right? If you just go in blind and you lift a bunch of different stuff, it might work, but who knows? Why not rely on someone else who's done the research, that's done the homework, that probably has a team of experts that know how to put a workout together to actually make you uh, reach the goal you're trying to reach. Yeah. And there, and there's accountability to it as well. Right. There's that external motivation, right? I mean, I know if I, if I hit the button and signed up to be at a class at the gym, I'm going to be there because I hit the button. Mm -hmm. Of course, the other day I slept right through my alarm and I missed it, but (laughs) my intentions were good. So there's the accountability bit. There's the professional there who knows what they're doing can help you along the way. And again, even if it's a, a video series, like they give good cues. And if you just have a mirror in front of you, 
you can figure it out. It's amazing too, just doing it and having the voice in your in your head. And when you're doing the workout, and they're like, you know, get get down another inch. And I can tell. Oh yeah, I'm not up. It's it's weird how they they can tell, right? They know what people at home are doing, and they can they can guide you through that. And and the kind of like they it's kind of like they've been doing it for a while. Yeah, maybe, maybe they, almost maybe yeah. they know a thing or two. And that's the most annoying part about this is you know I've been paying for this Beachbody app for like I don't know what three years. And I've done now collectively three programs. So, I mean, I'm getting my money's worth, but all the work that I've lost and all the money, uh, I, it could have been so much more worth uh, the, the few dollars that it costs for the year. That's okay. Don't focus on that though. Just think about getting the value in the future. Exactly. So again, I really want to say I told you so, but I'm just proud of you for doing what you're doing. But I also want to remind you that the physical exercise is not the only piece to this. Remember, there's multiple parts to being healthy, fit. And as our guest, Tony Horton, I'm like geeking out, so excited we got to talk to him, totally. is going to remind us like nutrition is part of this. That's part of why I take Athletic Greens. I started taking Athletic Greens because I really needed to have a supplement that tasted great, gave me all the things that I needed. And I didn't want to have to take 10 pills a day or spend all of my time cooking all the meals. I try and get my nutrients from food, but let's face it, we don't get everything we need every day from food. So Athletic Greens was a great solution for me. It tastes great. gives me everything I need for more energy, better gut health, optimized immune system. It has less than a gram of sugar and there's no nasty chemicals or artificial anything. And it actually does taste good. And for what you get, it's less than $3 a day. And right now is the time to incorporate better health. And Athletic Greens is a perfect start. To make it easy, Athletic Greens is going to give you a free one-year supply of immune-supporting vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. All you have to do is visit athleticgreens.com slash fitmess. Again, that's athleticgreens.com slash fitmess to take ownership over your health and pick up the ultimate daily nutritional insurance. That link will be on the show notes and it's plastered all over our website at thefitmess.com. All right. Well, this is a big deal for us. We get to share this interview that we did with Tony Horton just a couple of weeks ago. Super fun. In preparation for talking with the now 63-year-old Tony Horton, who could kick both of our asses, I found everyone kept saying how great he looks for his age. So I started by asking him about how that lands when he hears that. You know, we're so caught up on our on our appearance, which is you know, normal. That's humans, right? We don't want to look bad. We want to be trim and look younger than we are. But ultimately, it's not like I don't get a, a facial occasionally, just sure. to sort of upgrade things. But I mean, really, what, what matters, I mean, who you are as a human being is really on the inside. How is your brain functioning and how's your body functioning? And are you able to, you know, to, to live the life that you want to live? And hopefully you're living a big enough life so that you're able to do things physically that are kind of interesting, you know, and, and like riding your bike or I'm skiing here in Jackson Hole. And, and I mean, I, as a 63 year old, I feel as strong in the mountain as I've ever felt based on I'm, my behavior the last four months has been pretty intense just kind of turned it up a notch and I've got a good crew of people that I hang with that, that want to charge like I want to charge and they're all younger than I am, which helps. And uh, so they keep me young. Nice. And, and you know, I mean, I, I developed a program, I mean, uh, called the power of four. It's something that I developed outside of Beachbody, which is basically duplicating what I do and trying to transcend that to other people uh, who want to participate in it. You know I mean? It's just the basic things that to me, I've been doing forever and ever. And it feels like common sense to me. You know I mean, just, taking the right, you know, supplements, eating the healthiest foods I can eat, exercising five to seven days a week, and finding some time to meditate and find some mindfulness in my life so I can let the pendulum swing the other way once in a while. And most people, their only form of mindfulness is a crappy night of sleep. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> and then, you know, their cortisol levels are through the roof, their adrenal glands are burned, and they look in the mirror and they go, why do I look like crap? I like <laughs> crap, you know, it might have been a six pack of beer the night before while you're watching your team lose. So, you know, to me, it's just, it's basic, you know, I've been doing it forever and I don't see myself ever changing. So how long did that take you? I know for me, we talk about some of the common things that we do that are basic and how that helps somebody who it's not basic for. Is that something that clicked right away for you that like, Hey, I need to deliver more of this to people and, and educate them. Or did it take you a little while to like realize that the basic things for you aren't always basic things for everyone else yeah it took me a while it really did it took me decades you know and I'm still perfecting it I don't think there's any sort of final answer on on what to do you know I mean things are evolving there's new concepts and ideas and techniques and methods and philosophies and blah 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 and you read more and you learn more and you talk to smart people and and you go oh okay well I'm gonna maybe that was working for me back then 
you know what I mean? I think we should always be evolving. I'm always trying to evolve. I'm in the game of pursuing joy and happiness, you know, and whatever that takes, that's sort of the bottom line for me. And so my behavior is certainly part of it. My mental, my physical, mental, and emotional state is a result of my environment, my behavior, and my genetics, right? So there's, these are things that I, that I can control. I mean, people are like, oh, my genetics are my genetics. You know, Jack Lane lived twice as long as his dad. You know, his dad had same genetics Jack did. He just changed his environment and his behavior, you know? And I'm trying to do the same thing. You know, not that I plan on living to be 108, or am I? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, yeah. So it, it took a while. And so when you're trying to inspire people, it's really about the way you communicate, the way you disseminate. Your, your intel to folks. And right when we're done, I'm going to be doing this live thing on Instagram about getting out of your own way. You know, so often we're blaming, we're finger pointing, you know what I mean? There's, you know, you're blaming your parents and your genetics and your friends and your bad, blah, blah. And when in reality, the bottom line is stop, the, the buck stops with you. You know what I mean? So um, you just get out of your own damn way. And, and what does that require? And I think a lot of people live in a, unfortunately, <laughs> what gets in people's way is they live in a fantasy world. There's reality, which is the truth and the whole truth and nothing but the truth. And then there's your kind of your your misguided version of it because you, it's, you, know, you this is too hard, but this makes me happy, but I'm mm-hmm. overweight and I'm miserable. But uh, you know what I mean? So it's really distinguishing between those things, like getting your mind right and buckling down and finding out, you know, what you really have to do. And that's hard. Transformation, change. The switch, I, I call it the switch, going from the kind of the person you are to the person you are now, and that requires time. It took me time. It's going to take you time. So, you know, be the tortoise, not the hare. You don't go from first, first grade to grad school. There's a bunch of stuff in between, and you got to be willing to put in the time and energy and effort to get there. You know, the switch is a bitch. It just <laughs> is. If you think this thing's going to happen overnight, well, then you're going to be, you're misguided and you're going to fail. So that's why what I do is to try to tell people, hey, man, hang in there with me. Here's the plan. You know, here's ways you can modify. You don't have to be perfect every day. Don't be attached to the outcome. The past is history. History. The future is a mystery. Just be in the moment. You know what I mean? My workout in the gym the other day was pretty lame. <laughs> so, <laughs> but I was in the gym, yeah. and that's all that really mattered. And I did as best I could without, you know, breaking my arm. You know, I mean, I yeah. and that's that's it's a long winded answer. I that's like okay. Part. That's okay. Zach and I have been talking for months. I, I moved uh, to this community that I live in six months ago, and there's a free gym here that is a five-minute walk away. And I've been putting off going. The one time I went, I hated it, right? I went in with no plan, didn't know what to do. I was like, ah, this is going to suck. I'm going to hate this. And then when I knew I was going to be talking to you, I went, well, I better at least try this thing out before I talk to this guy because I'm going to sound like an idiot. So I've been putting off going to the gym for literally months and doing the mental gymnastics of, oh, I don't know, it's going to, I can't get out of my own way. But you inspired me just by agreeing to talk to us to get over there and start doing your workout, which I love, by the way, it's, it's been a really great experience. What, what, but, what work are you doing? The power four stuff? Oh, no, I'm, I'm doing the, the X3, the P90X3. I've heard of it. Yeah, heard of it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's a lot of fun. And uh, I've been enjoying it. And it's so funny because I do feel better after doing it. I mean, just immediately, just just moving my body, the nature of just moving your body, you feel better. But that is such a hard thing to communicate to that person who hasn't made the switch, who doesn't have the opportunity to talk to you as motivation to turn on the video and go do it. So how do you, how do you convince someone that it's worth it? How do you convince them to get off the couch and make that switch? Well, I'm going to speak directly to you, Jerry. Good, good. And here's what you Because I am talking to me. But... not doing. <laughs> Yeah. Your, your purpose sucks. Yeah. You, you don't have a purpose. You don't have a reason why that's substantial enough for you to, to be consistent. You said it just a few minutes ago. You feel great as a result of doing the workout. So, I mean, how many days a week do you want to feel great? How many days a week do you want to feel guilty and lame? You yeah. know, you know what I, mean? I mean? like, yeah. And so it, to, to be consistent, you need a plan. So yeah. get your purpose in line. I'm going to feel good today if I exercise today without making, you know, who cares how much I bench, who cares how much I squat, who cares how, how perfect my abs look at the end of the, at the end of the one workout. I mean, all that stuff is yeah. just arbitrary baloney, right? So you yeah. want to get rid of that. So your purpose should be, I want to feel good. I want to have more energy. I want to have more enthusiasm for life. I want my brain to function better because when I exercise, I release norepinephrine, dopamine, serotonin, brain derived neurotropic factor inside my temporal lobe, inside my hippocampus. Your whole life, everything about who you are as a human being, physically, mentally, and emotionally comes from inside the center of your brain called the hippocampus. Now, a lot of people use drugs and alcohol and porn and whatever the else they use to try to 
temporarily stimulate that part of, part of the brain. But in, in general, those sort of short-term attempts lead to long-term problems. So you wanna have some sort of short-term discipline and exercise and food discipline uh, for a life of a lifetime of, of feeling really well, right? So um, the goal here ultimately, man, is just to figure out what your purpose is that's so substantial is this is the bottom line it's priority one it's the foundation of who i am everything else is ancillary everything else is numbers is is b c d f it's not a it's not one that's who you are boom figure because you understand that who you are as a 63 year old could turn out better than maybe your parents or grandparents did yeah number two is your plan what time are you going to work out what workout is it and know that 30 days in advance you just get your calendar man okay like for me on Mondays, it's cardio. Boom. I got guys coming over. On Tuesdays, is shoulders and arms. Wednesday is plyo. Thursday is chest and back. Friday is balls and boxes. Saturday is yoga. Sunday is the four-hour ninja course. Repeat, repeat, repeat. Now, I schedule seven workouts. I usually miss one, sometimes two, but I always get my five. Yeah. And don't forget about three days a week. Throw yourself down a set of stairs. It's the same damn thing. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because <laughs> three, four days off are going to go you know, <laughs> F you buddy, um, because it's going to kick the crap out of the three days on. It's just, a, yeah. you know, it's just futile, right? You know, like, oh, I'm going to breathe three days this week. Yeah, I'm yeah. going to eat three days a week. I'm going <laughs> to sleep three nights this week. I'm going to go to work three nights this week. I'm going to pay my bills once every three months. <laughs> There's all this stuff that we naturally do. We don't question it. Uh -huh. And all we get is survival. Yeah. That's all we get. We get survival on earth. <sighs> What is that like a C minus life? Right. No, if you want to, if you want an A A plus, you got to show up all the time. So you got your purpose, you got your plan. Now, how are you going to stay accountable? Mm -hmm. Well, you got. I'm, I'm looking at Zach there. You and Zach. Hey man, that's it. You and I. Next thirty days. If I don't show up, you get to, you know, burn down my house. I don't know what the heck it is. Right. But you, you know, you get your tribe, man. You get. You are the company that you keep. Yeah. If both of you guys, if your best ten friends were all ice climbers you'd be really good at ice climbing you yeah. know what i mean yeah if you 10 friends with people like hey man it's 2022 the last couple of years have been crap let's just buckle down find some warriors you know i have like 25 people in my in my quiver of of friends and i'm always emailing and texting and calling you showing up you doing you're going to be here and that's it you know what i mean it's purpose plan and accountability through having the right kind of people in your life yeah and if you can't get it done then you're supposed to be an overweight, miserable son of a bitch. That's it. Sorry. Yeah. You know what I mean? Or you can kind of dabble in all the other temporary ephemeral means in which to, you know, f lose a few pounds in two months so you can look halfway decent at a wedding that nobody cares about. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. You know, so like this, excuse me, my first time I'm going to swear, this shit is real. And you have yeah. to get realistic about it if you really want to make dramatic change and you want it to stick. Mm -hmm. It's got to yeah. stick. You know what I mean? Yeah. So there you go. So on, on the flip side of it, so I've got my purpose very well dialed in. I know what I want in life, which leads me to, I am at the gym or the yoga studio seven days a week. And like you, I miss a day here and there. So I've been giving Jeremy a lot of crap lately of just go, just go. But I know, what are we going to do with him? Um, but for me, like this was a, this was a process for me because uh, 20 years ago, I was about a hundred pounds heavier eating McDonald's every day, no exercise. And it was, it was a long road and there was a lot of habits that I had to put together. And now I get asked, Hey, what's the one thing you did? And there's never one thing. Like it's all these little things, mm. but you know, a little something about all those little things that somebody has to do and how you can put th those habits together. Could you talk a little bit about how you go from, like you said earlier, preschool to grad school? What's that look like? What does somebody have to do to navigate that? What's the one thing you did to graduate from high school? <laughs> well, <laughs> there's, you, nah, there's no answer for that, right? And it's the same thing for that. I think it becomes overwhelming for some people because it's not a priority. You know, I mean, if it was a priority, if you if it went from sort of like tenth on the list to first on the list, and you were willing to put some energy into figuring it out, then then it would be the one, two, three, four, five, six, seventeen, twenty-five things that you would do. And those twenty-five things initially, uh, they seem incredibly overwhelming, right? Because it's twenty-five things. But you're the tortoise and you get it. And your job is just to show up and be in the moment, do the best you can and listen, right? Pay attention. 
and see what resonates, see what doesn't. If everybody else is going to CrossFit and you don't want to go to CrossFit, then don't go to CrossFit. Like if yoga is like, you know, everybody's doing the yoga and you don't want to, then, you know, you know, there's two kinds of love. You have to kind of have a, you have to have a general passion for what it is that you're doing. And maybe a lot of people haven't found it yet. I mean, Peloton is interesting, but it's the same damn thing every day. You know, it's like mm -hmm. you're out of the seat, you're in the seat, going faster, somebody's yelling at you. You know what I mean? It's like, oh, okay, cool. But the reason why I've created what I've created, and, and all you have to do is just show up and, and look at me on the screen, and you don't have to try to match what I'm doing or what anybody else is doing. But I try to create programs and formulas that afford boredom, injuries, and plateaus. You notice everything I say is in threes, it makes it really easy. Mm -hmm. right so mm -hmm. it's boredom injury and plateaus that keep people from and lack of a plan and purpose and accountability those there's another three right but these are these are like i just told you that do you have to like do you have to you know get into a space suit and go to mars and back and figure no it's like these are three things you understand here are three more things that you understand do them or don't mm -hmm. <laughs> you know mm -hmm. what i mean like right and then find some company right and, and keep keep consuming new information like diet, diet is a, is a nightmare for people, keto, paleo, vegetarian, pescatarian, you know, vegan, ve that, what do I do? I got blood work. I went to an expert, I got the blood and they said, Hey, you're having, you got, you got leaky gut and possibly leaky brain. No, nah, what does that mean? Seriously. Yeah. yeah. So leaky gut, leaky brain, it's just, it's just en enzymes and chemicals and think, you know, leaky gut is something where it's inflammation inside your digestive system, inside your body. So that means like when you're eating the food, it doesn't all exit out of the back end. It starts coming out because your intestines are very porous. They're not like metal pipes going through your body. So fecal matter leaks out, gets into the bloodstream, goes into all kinds of other places in your organs and heart and lungs. And, and you can't figure out why, you know, I don't have knee pain anymore. Why? I don't have shoulder pain anymore. Why? I, you know, like you should get surgery or you need to have injections in your knees. I, I just eat plants and I don't have those problems anymore. I can yeah. go to the gym. I pounded myself, even though I wasn't very strong. I'm not even sore. You know, I don't know. I mean, maybe it's partly because of the formulas that I created with, with my supplement line too. That helps as well. And these, these are just, if it's interesting to you and you want to get healthy and you're willing to see that there's the, the bullshit version that you've tried, like, you know, if, if you wake up in the morning and you have tons of energy and you have no pain, and you're not tired, and you rock through the day, you're doing everything right. If you don't, oh, what? Three more things? Crazy. <laughs> if you don't have those three things, then you need to make changes. Stop doing the same things over and over again, expecting a different result. Thank you, Albert Einstein. It's true. <laughs> right. And people let change is hard. Like, you know, I mean, it's hard. But I'm all, I got a job, and I got kids, and I got stressed. I have traffic, and I have bills, and I have, a, I have a pandemic, and now you want me to work out five to seven days a week and eat vegetables? Are you out of your mind? Well, then stay miserable, my friend. You know what I mean? <laughs> but the, the switch is a bitch, right? There's just going to be that period. But, you, you you know, I got a little expression that says, do your best and forget the rest. Yeah. Do your best. And just, what's your best today? Your best today might be horrible. But it's certainly better than doing nothing, right? It's always better than doing nothing. Absolutely. And mm -hmm. for 10 minutes, I had a program called 10 Minute Trainer. My cousin would do 10 minutes in the morning, 10 minutes at night, and, and stopped eating so much cheese <laughs> and got off the hooch. All right. So she got off the hooch, got off the cheese, worked out tw 20 minutes separately, and she lost 45 pounds. I can't believe this is working. Yeah, because it's a thousand times more than you were doing before, which was zero. So, you know, you don't have to, you don't sign up for a marathon the first time. You sign up for a 3K, you yeah. know what I mean? And then you progress. It's all about progression too. Totally. You mentioned your supplements. We wanted to find out more about that. Tell us, uh, tell oh, us about the supplement you? line. Yes. Well, who's listening? Hmm, let me tell you. <laughs> uh, yeah, you know, I got sick in 2017. I got miserably ill with Ramsey Hunt syndrome which is uh, shingles in your ear. And uh, if you got shingles in your ear, it goes into your brain. And uh, there's nerves that go from your ear to your brain. And it affected my vision and my smell and my taste and my balance. So I couldn't drive. I couldn't work out. I couldn't get out of bed. All I did was I spent most of the day in excruciating pain. I got Bell's palsy, which was really hot. It was a great look for me. And I threw up all day. So, I, you know, I was really, really rough. And then when I was coming out of that very, very slowly, about a three-month process, you know, I was went to all the King's horses and all the King's men, and I just couldn't put Tony back together. Again, you know what I mean? So, so, you know, I mean, all the tinctures and the acupuncture and like, you know, and then getting me out of the house and in the car and every time like a car would make a turn, you know, honey, roll, I got to roll in the window. It was brutal. So I met with some smart people. I got very fortunate. I think there was a lot of serendipity, a lot of kismet and the folks that I met. This guy, Will Valilla, 
That's that's six L's, by the way. A lot of L's. <laughs> wow. Um, but he, you know, he's a he's a nutrition scientist. I mean, he knows inside and out. And he said, "Hey, have you ever heard about HMB and how it reacts to vitamin D? There's all these great studies out of the NIH that that are talking about that. Maybe you know you can get your weight back on." Okay, and then like your leaky gut, let's come up with like some really high quality formula, uh, fiber, prebiotics, probiotics, two servings of vegetables. So, you know, it's like this super pack of food. And then I, you know, and then I talked to my nutritionist too about about diet, and and I tried veganism twice and failed miserably. I just I got all gaunt and sad, and because <laughs> I was eating too many vegan crackers. Mm. You know what I mean? Enough enough plants. So I got hooked up with Fire Road. Fire Road is a plant-based home delivery food service, which, you know, I get my, so I get my two shakes in the morning. I mean, shake in the morning, shake in the late, late afternoon and meals in between. And I can maintain my 172 pounds and I feel amazing. I don't have any inflammation whatsoever. It's called my, it's called Power Life. If people are interested, there is plant-based protein, whey protein, because, you know, our, our, our cows are straight out of Ireland. They're up there. With their Irish accent are hanging out with leprechauns, eating their, <laughs> eating their grass, and then we would get their away from them. And uh, no lucky charms, just the way it's fantastic up there. And so the plant based, a lot of seeds, a lot of nuts, a lot of mung beans. You can't get enough mung beans, sunflower seeds, and all that kind of stuff. You know, vegan, vegan. That's that's wow. what this little green monster is. Isn't that beautiful? So mypowerlife.com, if you want the discount, this is only for you guys. It's Tony30. At mypowerlife.com. Don't pay, don't pay full pop. Pay, pay the Tony 30 discount code. And this form, this stuff saves my life, man. I mean, I mean, a lot of it did. Getting back to fitness, going vegan properly. Uh, these, you know, without the shakes, I'd weigh about 118 pounds. So it's just, you know, getting those extra and high quality protein, the nutrients, the vitamins, the minerals, you know, and and, and the supplements are important. A lot of people are like, oh, I don't need supplements. I never have. I'm not a supplement guy. It's a waste of money. Or you just pee it out. Okay, well, great. Talk to any high school, collegiate, Olympic, or professional athlete who's busting their ass five to seven days a week, not taking supplements. Now, there's no such there's no such human being that I'm aware of. I haven't met him yet. So, you know, if you're a monk on a mountain with uh, organic vegetables and chickens and pigs and, and things, and you sit there and you, mm, oh, all day, eh, you don't need supplements because you live in a place that doesn't exist. You're not a person that's real. But but the rest of us, you know, if you've been out there, it's crazy out there. And if you have kids and you have a job and you got a boss and you got a wife who's, you know, or a husband that's, you know, and family and coworkers and, you know, you're just trying to, you know, and that's what the mindfulness part of the power for is. The mindfulness is when I was in the process of developing my supplements and everything else, I read a book uh, by Full Catastrophic Living by John Cabot Zinn. Mm-hmm. Yep. Man, oh, man. All 9,700 pages of that. Jeez. Process. Yeah. Also, David Nestor's Breath. I don't know if you guys have read yeah. that. Yet. Yeah, that's great. Oh, yeah, man. Fantastic. 5.5 breathing, you know, body scan meditation. Just, you know, you can, you can do it in the car. You can do it on the john. You can do it anywhere you want. You do it while having breakfast. You know what I mean? Anything that takes your mind away from, ah! And, it, and like I tell people, I don't know, meditation, I'm a, I'm a Christian. I go, well, come on, man. Just Yoga is a, a moving meditation. Mm-hmm. Simple moving meditation, right? You, do the, yep. you can do the ujjayi breath. You don't have to. But walking your dog, listening to music, dancing, you know, in your boxer shorts, whatever it is, reading. These are all, these are all mindfulness. I talk to people, when was the last time you were in a, in a bathtub? Um, I'm bad since I was five. Well, when then why Do you own one? Yeah. Well then put, put store socks in there, plant a tree. Cause that's what that thing's for. They're in every, almost every house in the country in the world, get in the tub, pour in the two cups of Epsom salt and shut up and just, and play music. Wow. It's double whammy. And these things, you know, these are the, these are, they're simple stuff. And you know, the, this new program is, is we had 2,500 people in the beta group and they were, there's a, you know, usually like P90X had like a 12% success rate because it was hard. Mm-hmm. Eat these foods, do these exercises. See ya. Right. We're trying to do more than that. I mean, it was an amazing program, 11 million copies. I believe 4 million of those 11 were pirated. <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> Good luck. I went to, I used to go, uh, I, I've been to 62 military bases around the world and I used to go to the Pentagon and, and do workouts there and stuff. And, and I used to go to the congressional gym and train some of those clowns and um, they're all pulling out like pirated copies. Excuse me, Senator. Uh, this is, uh, I'm going to have to arrest you because this is, <laughs> I 
Don't you have laws against this? Have you pass a law? Someone should do something about this. Sign doesn't happen. Okay, whatever. Man. So you know, case okay, Sarah. But what what the the power of four is nutrition, exercise, supplementation, and mindfulness. Man, it's just you know, and live events and uh, and you know, I did a, a a session the other day for our you know we have base program, premium program, and and, and VIP platinum program. And people just, they just, they've been stuck. They've always been stuck. And so we're trying to give people multiple options. We're trying to basically give them in 90 days, everything that we've been talking about, right? Access to me, access to two-time Olympian, Tasha Danvers, access to Jesse Graff, who's, you know, the first woman ever to, she's on our team, which is like, wow, she's cooler than me. That's awesome. (laughs) Um, So yeah, no. That's awesome. I, I have a, I have a question for you that I, I talk to people about it and, and I just want to hear your take on it because I've done a lot of your programs and you have a couple of workout programs. Zach, you helped me buy this joint. Thank you, dude. <laughs> nice. nice. Get on um, the power of four. I got bills to pay, buddy. Come on. <laughs> I will get right on that. All right. Um, but my question for you is I go to the gym and I lift weights and I do cardio. Like I, I like the, the weightlifting aspect. I also like the cardio aspect, but what do you say to the people who are, you know, again, going back to the, what's the one thing I can do? The people who are oh. just doing cardio, they're not lifting weights. I would love to hear your take on your new program and whether lifting weights is a good thing or a bad thing for you. Well, it depends on, on how you're lifting the weights, you know, how many repetitions you're doing, how much weight you're lifting is your ego involved when it comes to doing this process? You know, I mean, form and function is, is priority one. It should be. And if you haven't done it in a while, then you got to go, oh, okay, well, whatever memories you have of your glory days, you're going to have to, you know, <laughs> bury those for a second if you want to get through the process. If you look at the power of four, power of four has everything. There's mm-hmm. two martial arts routines. There's three separate ab routines. There's chest and back. There's chest and back recharge. There's triple trouble challenge. If you have P90X3, you know what the challenge is. In the challenge, you go back and forth between pull-ups and push-ups, and you have to, you know, guesstimate the exact number. It has to be the same from beginning to, beginning to end. Well, triple trouble challenge, it's all body weight, man. There's, you know, we'll get into the, the weights in a second. It's three sets of push-ups in a row, three sets of pull-ups in a row, and those numbers have to be the same, so you better choose wisely, all right? It's just, that's how you you know, like I would say, you got to shock the body. <laughs> <laughs> you got to shock it. You got to shock it. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm not I'm doing Arnold. That might be I the first it. impression injury I've ever witnessed. That was, that was, I know, cool. I know. <laughs> Arnold's arms back here. You know, it's fantastic. It's incredible. It's amazing. You know, you got to shock it. <laughs> right. So, and, 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 you know, chest and back recharge is sometimes body weight, sometimes using dumbbells, sometimes using, extra little accoutrement like like med balls and stability balls there's a routine called primal flow which is you know it, it's animal flow if you know it, it makes yoga look like napping okay boredom injuries plateaus right we want to make sure that we work on our weaknesses as much as our strengths now the one thing i would say to you zach you like the weights you like the cardio you come into my house on a sunday and get on my ninja course you will be destroyed you'll be destroyed because it's grip strength and lock off strength and you know, we climb ropes upside down, 20 foot ropes upside down. We'll climb 20 foot ropes in an L and do, do maximum levers, which is a skill that took me four months to learn how to do a rep. And then we come back down the rope. Oh, I'm sorry. No feet on the rope. No. Wow. You know what I mean? So one Wait. of the moves, uh, what, you know, Jesse loves is we go up a pegboard, right? And then we climb a beam, which basically supports the patio. So the beam, so you know the paper, and you go up the beam, and then you have to ring a bell, and you go down the rope, and then you go up the rope, you have to ring the bell, and you go down the beam, and you go across the, be- the pegboard, and you do maximum pull-ups. Wow. I'm exhausted just listening to it. I mean, and, and so, um, yeah, I mean, there's two kinds of love, or, or there's the original kind when it comes to exercise and fitness and behavior and nutrition. There's the things that you naturally gravitate to, like I'm, you know, I'm a weightlifting guy, or I'm a cardio girl, or I'm a, you know, I like my Peloton or whatever. There's that kind of thing, and of course you want to have that in your life, right? And then there's the other kind of love, which is the stuff that you suck at, that it's really hard for you and it's frustrating. But you should love the fact that you're doing it because the overall outcome for your general fitness will be ten times that of anybody who just keeps doing the same thing over and over again. 
All right, people just want to go for their walks. They just want to go for their runs. They, you know, they don't want to lift any weights. And so, I mean, I have a different objective than other people. I, I love the Ninja course. I, I train my legs three days a week hard so I can go out there, out there, into, where is it? Uh, so out, where is it? Oh, there's, there's the joint. Out there. And that's where the snow is. Right now it's 12 degrees. That's why I'm glad I'm talking to you guys. <laughs> I've got snow here in 10 days. So hard, hard on the legs. Don't love legs. Don't love cardio. Don't love plyo. We have a routine on Fridays called balls and boxes, just jumping on plyo boxes. They used to be metal boxes. My shins look like somebody hit me with a hatchet. You know what I mean? <laughs> Finally got the soft ones. Like, what, what have those been my whole life? You know I mean? <laughs> um, so now when I run into the plyo boxes, you know what I mean? And that's all stability balls and core. It's rib cage down, right? So um, I have pretty strong legs three days a week. And the other four days a week, maybe on a day off, it's upper body stuff. You know, yoga's head to toe, but. Mm-hmm. And then sometimes well, I have a tonal. I'm, I'm a, one of the tonal trainers and um, you know, I get on that tonal and, and that's resistance. It's not dumbbells, but I have a rack of dumbbells that go from five to five to 75s. Uh, and that's enough. And mm-hmm. um, I mean, I was in the gym yesterday. I went from body weight to cable to barbells to dumbbells. And I just did a circuit. I would just look around. And I went, oh, I'll go do that. Um, okay. That's chest. Oh, I'll go over there. Oh, there's, I'll do that lap pull machine. Oh, I'll go over there. I'll do four ball pushups. I'll go over there. That's the one thing maybe Zach that you're missing. And a lot of people are missing and it's kind of, you know, one or two dimensional and I, you want to be multi-dimensional when it comes yeah. to maybe all aspects of your life. You know? Yeah. Yeah. I, I agree. I actually go to a CrossFit gym just because of, a, I don't have to think about it when I go into the gym, right? The, the workout is there. I don't look at the workout because if I look at the workout and see something I'm weak at, mm. I might skip it. Um, and it, you know, it, it covers so many different areas, but yeah, I've, I would totally come and do your, do your course at your house. If you ever invited me, cause that sounds amazing. Where do you live, Zach? Where do you live? I live in New York. All right. Well, I'm a plane train or automobile man I'm in LA and, uh, I have a view of a forest in the woods above Brentwood and, uh, the whole backyard. I have, I have a gym, I have a regular indoor gym. Number one, I have an area that's a, a high bar. 20 foot rope and parallel bars, gym number two. And then I have my pegboard beam, 17 foot rope, pull up bar, gym number three. And then I have my ninja course, which is gym number four. And I'm building a platform for number five, Amazing. which is all awesome. lachets. It's just going to be a lachets thing where you swing and grab and swing and grab. Oh my gosh, that sounds fun. That's awesome. Tony, thank you so much for all of this time. We really appreciate it. Where can we learn more about you and the power of four and the supplements and all the things? Well, I appreciate that question very much. It's been a pleasure hanging out with you two young men as well. And hopefully there's been a thing or two in here that not only inspires and motivates you, but all of your listeners. And uh, so that's a good thing. If you want to find just Tony Horton in general, uh, you go to TonyHortonLife.com. That's TonyHortonLife.com. And that's my events and my, my TH fitness line, my TH care hair and skin line, you know, all the, all the things and all my events and all the things that I'm, you know, I'm involved with. If you want to know more about Power Life, the supplements, you can go directly to mypowerlife.com. That's mypowerlife.com. And you put in that code TONY30. And if you really want to join the revolution and join the folks at at Power Nation, I highly recommend it, man. It's just an amazing 2,500 people went through the beta over 15 months of of, of COVID. And now there's another uh, almost like 2,800 that have signed on, which is really great. We We want more, of course. So it's powernationfitness.org. That's power nation fitness. Don't go.com. I think it's a porn site. So be careful. <laughs> <laughs> or don't be work. careful if that's what you're into. I don't yeah, know. Yeah. I mean, that's funny. <laughs> I'm not going to get fit though. <laughs> All right, Tony, thank you so much for your time. We really appreciate it. Appreciate it guys. All right. That was Tony Horton, the creator of the best selling fitness series, P90X and more recently the power of four. You can find all of those links he mentioned in the show notes for this episode at thefitmess.com. And Jeremy, I just want to throw this out there. And Tony, if you're still listening, I basically heard him say that I could go to his house whenever I wanted. So yeah, I think you can just show up, just knock on the door anytime. Yeah. Yeah. No, I think, I think I'm going to try that. Yeah. I should do that. (laughs) I'm sure that'll go well. (laughs) Let me know how that works out for you. (laughs) Well, if the, if the course doesn't kill me, I suspect I won't make it out of there anymore. Anyway, yeah, so. I think that may be right. That may be true. All right. A ton of great takeaways in that interview. I hope you got as much out of that as we did. That was a big deal for us. We're very excited to have had that opportunity. 
But just remember, you know, if, if whatever you've done up until now, it hasn't worked, do something else. Almost anything will be better because you know the results of what you've done. And you also know the results of not doing anything. So just try something else. But as Zach mentioned earlier, definitely worth getting a coach for something like this because you want to make sure that you know what you're doing, that you have a plan and you have some accountability. So we both know that I move a lot. Like I, I go to the gym, I go to yoga, I do a whole bunch of stuff and I have a plan and I know what times I'm going and I know where I'm going. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'll find out when I get there. But last week I had a little bit of a, a change in my schedule. I had to go into the office for work, which is down in the city. So I stayed there for a few days and I didn't plan. I didn't find a yoga studio. I didn't find a gym. I didn't carve the time out to go work out. So guess what I did? I got to the office at 730 and then I left the office at eight or nine at night. I ate something and immediately went to bed. Just three days of that, three days of that, my neck pain came back. My body just had no part of it. It was terrible. So again, consistency here is really important. And if you're going to take a break or you have to go do something, really just try and figure out another way to get that movement in. It's just going to help you go so much further in this process. And again, you know, he likes to say all the time, I know this because I've been doing his workouts every day. Aging is for people that don't know better. And he is living proof. The dude is skiing down mountains, running ninja courses in his backyard. He's 63 years old and still as active as ever because he takes care of his body. This is something that I'm just, again, learning over and over again. And so I can't stress enough how important it is for you to do whatever you can to make sure you're taking care of your body. And if you're still not sure where you want to start, you don't have to do any of this alone. You can connect with your friends with similar goals, hold each other accountable. Also, we have a Facebook group where you can come in, join the community, and we can help point you in the right direction if you need it. There, you're going to find monthly challenges, accountability from fellow group members, and also just a really supportive community. So I hope you'll join us there. The link for that is on our website, thefitmess.com, where we will be back next week with a brand new episode. Thanks for listening. See everyone. We know this podcast is amazing and doesn't seem to lack anything, but we need a legal disclaimer. Prior to implementing anything discussed in this podcast, it is your responsibility to conduct your own research and consult your physician. You should assume that Jeremy and Zach don't know what they're talking about, and they're not liable for any physical or emotional issues that occur directly or indirectly from listening to this podcast.